my name is Damaris Bogujal, and I'm an HIA student here at Trident in the baking and pastry and the culinary program. And today I will be teaching you guys how to make brown butter chocolate chip cookies. We're first going to start off with the butter. We're going to go ahead and turn this on. And we are going to brown the butter. So this is going to take a while, but you just want the butter to melt. And um, it'll cook for a while. And I'll explain as it cooks. Um, while that's going, go ahead and put this over here. We can mix our dry ingredients together. So I have all-purpose flour here, and then some salt, uh, some baking soda, and I'm just going to go ahead and whisk these together. And you just want to make them really good so that the ingredients are incorporated well. All right, let's check on our butter here. I'll turn up the heat a bit to get things going. And so when you're making brown butter, there's something called the Maillard reaction that happens. And it's basically where the water evaporates and um, the milk solids caramelize. And that leads to nutty brown butter. And it's very good for, in recipes. It makes these cookies taste very good. And when you're towards like the end, you do want to constantly mix because there will be bubbles. I would recommend to have like a bigger pot so that the liquid spreads out more and you can see the bottom easier. While that's going, I'm just gonna add the sugars to the stand mixer because the butter, the brown butter, will be uh, combined with that. The milk solids I can see are starting to go towards the bottom, so they should uh, start browning soon. That is perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the heat take it off the heat. And to stop the uh, cooking process, I am going to add a couple of ice cubes here. And don't worry about it fizzing up. Just mix it up a bit. There you go. It smells so good. <laughs> But we're about to add it in the measuring cup and see how much liquid we have. There you go. Yeah, we have exactly one cup. So that's perfect. I'm going to leave this back here. All right, and then we'll just put this in our ice bowl so that it cools down faster. So now it's cooled down enough. You just want it to like cool down uh, as much as possible. If you can, it's like good to leave it like even solid because this will go back to solid. Um, but even if it's still warm, it's fine to use. You just don't want to use it right away because that can burn the sugar and then we're also adding eggs and it can also cook the egg. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this to the uh, sugars and we're going to start mixing it up. And all those little brown bits are the milk solids that browned. Let me just grab my spatula here and try to get all those brown bits out. There you go. All right, and then we're gonna start mixing. You wanna start mixing at like a low medium speed so like stuff don't go everywhere. Whoop. There you go. And you wanna do it in like small bursts like this because as you can see, it kind of did come out of the bowl. So. All right, there you go. So after this has uh, whipped up a bit. You just want it to be like until it's incorporated. I'm going to go ahead and add some vanilla extract and then we're just going to blend it again. Once um, you add the vanilla extract and let it just go for a bit, you can start adding your eggs now. I have two eggs here 
And I'm going to add one at a time. So after I add this one and it's incorporated uh, well enough, I'm going to scrape down the bowl to make sure everything is well mixed together. And then I'll add the other egg. You want to make sure you don't get any shell in there. No one wants a cookie with a shell. <laughs> Uh, and then let's start mixing. Now I'm gonna pull this down and just scrape the bowl. All right, now we're gonna add our next egg. And we're gonna start mixing it again. So once it's mixed together, um, you can leave it. You don't want it to get too fluffy unless you like a cookie that really spreads. Um, I've had that experience before where I like let the eggs run a lot and they did really spread. I like it to be more uh, stable and like put together. So we'll stop it here. I'll take this out. Now we're just gonna add the flour, the flour mixture to this and we're just gonna combine it. Um, other recipes, they like to use the uh, stand mixer to combine the flour, but in my experience, I've seen that when I do that, it kind of uh, causes them to spread as well. So we're just going to incorporate everything using a spatula. So we're just going to fold in the flour. All right. And just put this here. So now we're just going to fold in the flour and once it's well incorporated, I'm going to add the chocolate chips. So for my chocolate chips, I have some dark chocolate and milk chocolate and I like that combination best because I love milk chocolate but if you like dark chocolate, uh, this, this will be a good recipe too. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and add the chocolate chips. There's still some flour at the bottom, but while we mix in the chocolate chips, the flour will get incorporated as well. Kind of hard to mix together, but that's kind of like the consistency you want for a dough. You don't want it to be too soft, because as I said, it can spread a lot. That is good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and put some gloves on now and start scooping them and these parchment lined sheet trays. So I'm gonna use a scooper here. This one has two ounces when it scoops. And that's generally around the size you want. So we're just gonna scoop them. Um, each sheet tray should get around like eight. This recipe should make around 16 cookies using the scooper. So now that we've scooped them out, um, I'm gonna go ahead and bring these to the oven. Um, I forgot to mention this, but you want a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And these will bake for around 8 to 10 minutes, depending on your oven. Um, and if you have a conventional oven, which is like where you have the bake and then the broil, so heat from the bottom, heat from the top, um, that one, you might want to pay attention because that, that's the kind of oven I have home. And usually I have to leave it a couple minutes less for baking and then a couple of minutes for broil just so that the cookie uh, bakes evenly. But if you have a convection oven, which is where you have a fan, um, that one just distributes heat evenly because it has the fan. So um, just keep that in mind. Um, if you don't know the type of oven you have, you can kind of check. Um, it should have like a label somewhere, but I'll just bring these to the oven right now and we can go ahead and bake them. So this is like the finished product. I'm gonna go ahead and take them and put them onto a cooling rack because um, since the uh, sheet tray is hot, it will still cook the cookie. So you just wanna cool them down as fast as possible. The center will still be kind of like gooey but that's fine because as they cool down, they will firm up. So, and um, that's what makes really good cookie, <laughs> the gooey parts. All right. And here are the cookies. I 
help you enjoy. <laughs>